Tommy is having a hard time answering the door because he's got no arms. He's the Chinese, no armed, average worker, average manager of the unseen business. And when he finally gets it open, this guy says, is this the bathroom? And he says, no. And Tommy motions down the hallway there. Where the bathroom is, he closes the door again, and yes, he's in the Chinese control room for the basketball game. There's one Chinese fellow there with the little uh, joystick that has the ball making those funny bounces. There's another one there altering the referee's video replay so that you know it says what they want it to say. And there's another one who. Uh, is scanning the crowd for anyone that might be saying something they don't want Stone Cold Melton to know. A couple of little old ladies are out working in their backyard and one says the other. Now there's something you don't see every day. Yes, it's Tommy, the no arm Chinese fella. Going down the alleyway on the cat hunt. Yeah, he, uh, is oriental he loves the cats and the dogs no not as pets as dinner and he's got a parrot on his shoulder that is saying here kitty 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 here kitty 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 and yes Tommy will uh, pounce on that cat when it gets close enough for hunting that bird and yes uh, He'll have that problem again. Cat scratches up the belly as it's fighting away at that uh, bird. Bird scratching up his arm. Tommy's at his desk at work and he kicks off that loafer. Tommy's the no arm Chinese fella. Kicks off that loafer and he puts that toe up in his nose because he's picking a booger. And Lou is walking past and you know he quickly pulls that foot out. Lou is who he's having an affair with on Rhea. And Lou sees that and she says, oh, you don't have to do that. Everyone else is at lunch. And yes, she is a, a booger picker herself. She's oriental. And uh, she says, you know, at my desk at home, I've got a jar of the biggest boogers I've ever picked. And Tommy, he opens up with his foot that drawer and shows her his big booger, a jar. I am Melton, son of a carpenter. Married dad a carpenter, worked on skyscrapers. Mom, Marianne, I am the son of a carpenter. I get to tell parables. And this is my Tommy parable series about Tommy, the no-arm Chinese fella, was being blindly obedient, told by his boss, Lou, Stick his right arm into a wood chipper. He did that and left. He the left arm wisely jumped off, leaving them with no arms. And as I've told you before, the angels helped me out with my Tommy and other parables. And here is another example of how Ali, another reason for Ali, the noseless amputee at Tommy's AA meeting at the bar, Amputees Anonymous. Another reason for her to, uh, be missing that nose and Juanita says that must be terrible to lose your nose like that and never be able to smell the flowers again and she says I don't miss that Venus flytrap took it off so Tommy is at his AA meeting at the bar Tommy is the no arm Chinese fellow and yes it's amputees anonymous and the new member, Allie, gets up to tell her story and she's a little reluctant. And then she, she says, it was a, a botched boob job. Yeah, Allie is missing her nose. She's an amputee. And uh, yes, Juanita lost her arms that way. And so she says, You too? 
Tommy is the no arm Chinese fella. And he is at his AA meeting at the bar. And Allie, the newest member to AA at the bar, is showing him, Tommy, some photos. And Juanita comes over and she says, Oh, that's such a beautiful baby. And Allie says, That's not a baby. It's a picture of me before I lost my nose. See, uh, yeah, that's the reason she's in Amputees Anonymous. She lost her nose. And she goes over to show her photos to someone else. And Juanita says, Whew, they did her a favor taking that big honker off. Tommy is the no arm Chinese fellow. Average worker of the unseen business, he was told by his boss Wu to stick his right arm into a wood chip. He blindly obeyed Wu, his boss, and lefty the left arm wisely jumped off, leaving Tommy with no arms. Now Tommy has been given a mission. By Wu, he's supposed to tell Trump not to answer any questions at a press conference about AT&T's Compromising of America's security by their hijacking of America's lifeline. So he goes, Tommy goes to the general, the general takes him to the White House, and Trump's in, you know, the chair. The makeup guy's working on him, and the general says, We can come back another time. You're, you're about to do a press conference, and Trump says, No, I'm going to the bathroom. I want to look good in the mirror. And so, of course, they tell him not to answer any questions about ATT. Maria has gotten home from work, and Tommy, the no arm Chinese fella, is sitting in that armchair with a huge orange traffic cone pulled down over him, his head sticking out that little part at the top. And she says, What happened, Tommy? And Tommy says, The bully didn't like me playing loud harassment noise. And so he did that. She said, oh, that's too bad. Let me help you get it off of it. I'll get that off of you. And he says, oh, that's not all he did. He put a beehive up underneath it. And as she tries to lift that cone off of Tommy, all those bees get riled up again. Henry's watching the basketball game and Marge says why is that man giving the camera the finger? And uh, Henry tells her oh that's uh, the Orientals. They uh, they scan the crowds and when the camera is on somebody in the crowd that is saying something they aren't supposed to they have somebody run up and block in case Stone Cold Melton is watching he might find something out he's not supposed to know so he doesn't know that that's the wrong phone finger and he's, Henry says oh yeah he does oh look it's uh, Tommy the no arm Chinese fella stuck his left arm uh, his right arm in the wood chipper lefty the left arm wisely jumped off leaving him with no arms Tommy is the no arm Chinese fellow. His boss Wu told him to stick his right arm into a wood chipper. He did that and lefty the left arm wisely jumped off, leaving Tommy with no arms but a promotion. And Rhea is his girlfriend. She's in her art studio working on the lefty de Milo, a statue. She's tipping away. And Tommy's in bed, and he's having a nightmare. In the nightmare, Lefty went to this landfill, a whole bunch of wood chips, and he found a righty bit by bit. He sewed it back together, and Tommy got up in the dream, and he saw the, this big shadow arising up. And yes, uh, they both, Lefty and Righty, took Tommy to the wood chipper, and yeah, he was screaming as he was getting chipped up in that nightmare. 
Tommy is the no arm Chinese fellow. And he's been sent to a military base to help an American general deliver a speech. And it's a good thing he's there because the general is freaking out. The teleprompter is broken. And Tommy says, don't worry about it, General. Just look towards me and I'll mouth the words and you can read my lips and make the speech. And so the General gets up there and he says, guys, don't worry to the troops. Don't worry about it. You're not the one that's going to get uh, convicted for treason for taking part actively in America's hijack lifelines. I am. And, uh, yeah, Tommy has to pick his nose. It kicks off his shoe, and, uh, yes, so does the general. Tommy is the no arm Chinese fella, average worker. Actually, he's a manager of the streets, the unseen business, which involves moving a whole lot of Karens. For him, he moves a whole lot of Karens in and out of his shoes, high heel shoes, of Karen. And one of them couldn't make the old switcheroo because the first one wasn't there to switch with. So he has to you know, drop her off around the block and then he rolls up in front of where the Karens are working and he sees her coming out and he starts talking on the horn. Remember he's driving with his mouth. It hurts his teeth to drive but he has to today. And uh, Karen's boss has been keeping her busy all day and he says that no arm guy is trying to get your attention and she goes over and says to her boss I have to go and he rides around the block they do the old switcheroo and he drops her all the new one right in front of the boss. He is the no arm Chinese fellow. He was told by his boss Wu to stick his right arm into a wood chipper. He was blindly obedient he did that and lefty the left arm wisely jumped off leaving Tommy with no arms but a promotion. He's bossing a whole lot of folks around and he called everyone in on St. Patrick's Day this Sunday 2019 and he's got them doing extra work Wu had for him. And Katie is a new employee and she thought she was winning friends over new workplace. He went up and put tabletop art on everyone's desk. She didn't know Tommy is in charge of hijacking everyone's access to Milton's graphic art. And he's, you know, cussing and Chinese and everybody looks in there and Leah says, well, nobody's going to pinch Tommy today. He's green as anything. Jealous as. Tommy is the no arm Chinese fella. His boss, Wu, told him to stick his right arm into a wood chipper. He did that. And yes, Lefty the left arm wisely jumped off, leaving him with no arms but the promotion. And he's just got done with work. He's a manager now. And he goes out, takes his briefcase with because he's got his unicycle in this really big briefcase. And he opens it up, takes the, the, uh, the unicycle out. Yeah, it hurts his teeth to drive. Because all he's got to do is, you know, his mouth to steer with. So he uses the unicycle. He gets up on that unicycle and he's got very good balance. Doesn't need the bicycle. But he does need somebody to pick up the briefcase. And he's trying to tell folks to do that. And all they do is clap and uh, put uh, money in that briefcase. So he's a little late. His, his cat is cold when he gets home. But he's got a little extra cash. Tommy, the no arm Chinese fella. Average worker of the unseen business. You know, he was told by his boss Blue to stick his right arm into a wood chipper. He did that. Lefty the left arm wisely jumped off. Leaving him with no arms but, but a promotion. And he's got Leah from work driving him home because he's got to stop by the post office. The private who was supposed to pick up the stolen mail to me didn't do it. And they both go in and Leah's mad because she's got a towed out too. Big bags of uh, mail. And then once she, she gets out, she's sweating, and it, she looks over, and Tommy says, Oh, we got to stop by Woo's and drop it off. I'm Melton, some Carpenter Mary. Look for Phone Gate. Be a part of it. 
Tommy, the no-arm Chinese fella, has been overworked. Wu, his boss, has been working him so hard, he doesn't know if he's coming or going. And he is glad it's the end of the week he gets to go to his AA meeting at the bar, relax, and have a few drinks. Yeah, MPT is anonymous. And he gets there, and there's a new member to the MPT is anonymous. She's missing her nose. Everyone's curious as to why she's missing her nose. So Juanita says, Tommy, why don't you tell everybody your story? So uh, Allie can see how it's done. And he gets up and he says, oh, I'm Tommy, and I am a nose picker. Yeah, he got his uh, support groups mixed up. Tommy is the no arm Chinese fella and he's at his AA meeting at the bar. Amputees Anonymous. And Allie, the new member, has a tear rolling down her face. She's a noseless amputee as she tells about her bot's boob job. She went in and she talks about waking up in that hospital as Dr. Randall tells her that the nosectomy was a success. And Juanita, who also had a bot's boob, boob job that ended up with both of her arms missing, she says, you had Dr. Randall too? You have Dr. Randall too? Oh, probably in past tense. Yeah, they both say, right, do not take these off on everything you don't want taken off and make these bigger on the, uh, yeah, the boobs. Tommy, the no-arm Chinese fella, is at his AA meeting at the bar, and Allie, the newest member that's uh, missing her nose, why she's an amputee, shows up late, and Juanita says, well, you got anything on your mind? Allie and Allie, she takes off her sunglasses, and she says, uh, yeah, it's not easy. No picnic being a noseless amputee. She has to watch where she wears her sunglasses because she's very pale. Pale. And she has a certain look with these sun big round eye sunglasses and uh, no nose. And yeah, uh, she will scare folks and aliens. She'll duck and thought they were her own. Tommy is uh, the no-arm Chinese belt. No arms at all. And he goes to his AA meeting at the bar. Amputees Anonymous. And he's gotten back from Al's bar. He crossed through the doggy door. It's easier than you know, getting the key out and opening up the door. And he sits down in the, the recliner, and Rhea, his girlfriend, comes up, and she says, Why aren't you watching TV? Stooges. And uh, Tommy tells her all about the new member of AA, Amputees Anonymous, missing her nose, Allie. And Rhea says, Oh, that's terrible. She's never going to be able to smell those beautiful flowers again. And Tommy says, yeah, and she's never, ever going to have another booger. I am Milton, son of a carpenter, Mary, dad a carpenter, worked on skyscrapers, mom, Mary Ann. I am the son of a carpenter, I get to tell parables, and then also get to do a little genetic carpentry. Used to be all dark brown, slowly but surely changing, but too blue. And the angels will help me craft my parables. Are particularly good with Tommy's. And last night I introduced the character at Tommy, the no-arm Chinese fellas, AA meeting at the bar. Uh, yeah, uh, Amputees Anonymous. And she was missing her nose. And I've had several different angels supply different ideas for how she lost her nose. And uh, I, I plan to get into all of them. And in tonight's uh, reason for her losing her nose, she sneezed really, really hard. Tommy, 
has done no harm Chinese fella. His boss, Wu, told him to stick his right arm into a wood chipper. And Tommy was blindly obedient. He stuck his right arm into the wood chipper, lefty, the left arm. Wisely jumped off, leaving Tommy with no arms, but for most of his boss, not a whole lot of folks around right now. As a manager, but uh, this occurs at Tommy's AA meeting at the bar. And Tommy is curious, and he asks the new member, Allie, did you... She's missing her nose. That's how she's an amputee at Amputees Anonymous at the bar there. Did you, your boss tell you to stick your nose into a wood chipper? And she says, no, that's, that would be stupid. I was really angry at my face one day, and to spite it, I cut off my nose. Allie is the new noseless. Member of Tommy, the no arm Chinese fellas, AA meeting at the bar. Yeah, amputees anonymous. And Tony, another member, says that must have been terrible, a losing your nose like that. And Allie says, well, it, in a way it was a blessing in disguise. My marriage was on the rocks. I've always had this very terrible a snoring problem not since I lost the nose and yeah my husband he always has had a very bad gas problem but it does not bother me anymore blessing in disguise we are at a press conference and Randall says, I want to assure you, we here at AT&T do not just hijack America's lifelines for no reason. It's for political, business, and religious censorship reasons. And as far as who decides whose lifelines are hijacked, that's the general right here. And the general steps up as... Randall runs for the door and a reporter asks, how long has Randall been missing both arms? And the general says, how should I know that? Yes, Tommy the no arm Chinese fella. It's like you asking me how long America's security has been compromised by easily documented censorship. That's not my job. Tommy is the no arm Chinese fella. And as a Chinese fella, he loves the cats and the dogs. No, not his pets, as dinner. And he has one over his girlfriend, Rhea, to cat eating. And she's got a grandpa in Alabama who sends a recipe every once in a while about, you know, badger, beaver. And yes, the beaver in particular worked pretty well for the cat recipes. And she's got some waffle cats. Uh, cat waffle recipe this uh, Sunday morning and uh, she uh, cooks it up and Tommy's still hungry for some more but he's she's in her art studio chipping away at Lefty's uh, statue and uh, he goes into the kitchen you guessed it he ends up with a very big waffle like tongue stuck to the griddle in an emergency room Tommy, the no arm Chinese fella, is in the doghouse with his girlfriend Rhea. Yeah, was told by his boss would stick his right arm in the wood chipper as a test of loyalty. He did that and lefty the left arm wisely jumped off, leaving him with no arms but a promotion. And he was on his way home on his unicycle, doesn't need a bicycle, no arms. And he should always go shopping for clothes with Rhea because he bought a hat that was too large on his lunch break and it covered up his eyes and he fell down into the sewer, an open manhole, the sewer worker you know, dropped him off and yeah, she's not going to let him sleep inside, he has to sleep in the doghouse and uh, the sewer worker said, I see he's been through the sewer before, met those alligators who uh, took off his arms. Aria 
gets home, she calls out, Tommy. Tommy's the no-arm Chinese fellow. And uh, he's not there. There's a knock on the door. It's Hang High. Oriental Street Justice. And Hang High takes her to Hell on Rift Place. And as they're walking down the hallway, she hears the screams of a whole lot of folks. And she sees Tommy burst, hanging by his balls of steel. Burst through some... Uh, Oh, uh, plaster wall. Uh, he even took out a two by four. He's going to be there permanently. She knows. She's seen it before. He broke my computer with uh, having its devil Lori Taunt texting me yesterday before it broke the computer. And she says, Where can I pick up the other one? And he says, Right over there. She goes to pick him up. He's not getting out of there. Tommy is the no-arm Chinese fella, and as a no-arm Chinese fella, he goes to his AA meeting at the bar, Al's bar, Amputees Anonymous, and the new member of Amputees Anonymous, Allie, the rest of the amputees are fascinated by her, missing her nose to be an amputee. And Juanita in particular says, have you ever thought of wearing a prosthetic? And Allie says, well, thing is that they're never secure unless you're wearing a, a strap and then it doesn't look very good. And yes, it, it got caught in the wind during a rainstorm and she all turned upside down. She almost drowned. Tommy. Is a no-arm Chinese bell. He was told by his boss Wu to stick his right arm into a wood chipper, and he did that. Was blindly obedient and lefty the left arm wisely jumped off. They got him two missing arms, but for most, and he's bossing a whole lot of folks around. Management of the streets, the unseen business. And Wu caught Tommy and his mistress, Lou, picking their nose. So he sent them to support group because he's worried about the image. We've all seen the Orientals picking their nose in public. So Wu not only sent them to Nose Pickers Anonymous, he also installed a security camera in Tommy's office and he keeps checking in every once in a while. He looks and there's an empty office desk and he says, Tommy, are you in the, the closet picking your nose? And he walks out and yes, uh, so does Lou. Al's tending bar and he sees Rhea come in. So he tells Tommy, the no arm Chinese fella, Rhea's on the war path. Before Tommy can react, there's Rhea a yelling at him. It's my birthday and you're here at this damn bar. You didn't even buy me a gift. And Allie, the newest member of Tommy's AA meeting at the bar, Amputees Anonymous. She tries to intercede. She comes up behind Bria and she says, It's not his fault. He, he's here for the support group. The AA meeting at the bar. And Bria spins around and she yells at Allie. You keep your big fat nose out of this. And Allie bursts into tears. Yes, the reason she's the AA member is she's missing her nose. So Traitor Oliver North has stopped by AT&T headquarters to pick up some documents about military interaction with the megaphone monopoly. He's picked up some documents, uh, some equipment as well, and he runs into Randall Stevenson. And he offers him some Good advice for the Senate subcommittee meeting. He says, do what I did, just wear your Marine outfit, uniform. Wear your Marine uniform and envision yourself as that hero to our country, Benedict Arnold. And Randall Stevenson thanks him for the advice and he's off to... Uh, do whatever he does. I am Milton 
son of a carpenter in Mary. Daddy carpenter worked on the skyscrapers, Mom Mary Ann. I'm the son of carpenter Mary. I get to tell parables. And yes, I am the mean Lord. I am justice. Look for my Tommy Parable series about our streets, our fun fictional streets. And yeah, pick up your phone, pick up your digital camera, and make your own Tommies. Oh, come see me in person. You can be in my Tommies. Nice short minutes lately. Well, oh, there's an address. 4260 Egorek Boulevard, apartment 409. It's kind of hazy. Los Angeles, California, 90065. Tommy is a no-arm Chinese fellow. Lost both his arms being blindly obedient. Stuck that right arm in the wood chipper because his boss Wu told him to. And left him the left arm wisely jumped off, leaving him with no arms, but he's bossing a whole lot of folks around. And uh, we're at his office and Lou his mistress and also his employee is uh, picking her nose and she says don't go in his office uh, Tommy's he's mad as anything he just saw a video on the internet of a couple of privates defending America on their leave they were making videos of their hijack call to me with uh, Randall Stevens and other AT&T executives, executives on uh, speakerphone and one says to the, the other in the video Trump uh, snafu'd big time not uh, going after AT&T conducting harassment techniques against a man in a wheelchair they would have been better off uh, Trump would have to park that tank in front of AT&T to prevent them from being so over the top in their harassment techniques then he could just duck the questions about uh, why there's a tank on Eagle Rock Boulevard instead of uh, his active involvement and perhaps uh, Putin telling him he can't uh, go after AT&T as his uh, as commander-in-chief. He, he snafu big time. Just like Tommy. <laughs>